Hi, my name is Liesl, um, Liesl Laurie, and I work at Jack Rand AFM. I do the chart show. Um, and yeah, I'll be conducting your interview today. Okay, awesome. Perfect. Where are you right now? Like which I'm, uh, country city? <laughs> I'm in Jamaica. I was just, you? Um, I was just in, the, in, um, in the States uh, last week. Yeah, because okay. um, I, haven't, I haven't been in my house in like five months. So um, okay. I went back there just to check on things. So now I'm back in Jamaica, but I'm under quarantine for 14 days. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Well, you haven't been to your house in five months and I haven't left my house in over five months because we're not allowed, um, well, to be out and about. I've only gone to work and back, but nothing social, nothing happening here in SA. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Where are you? Yeah. Where are you exactly? So I am in Johannesburg in South Africa. Um, right. It's, yeah, it's the hub. Have you been here? Have you visited us? Um, no, no. And um, I, I've been planning to to come near, but now this whole pandemic, I guess we're putting that off for another, for however long, I don't know. Yeah, probably about another year or so. Another year or so. Um, well, seeing that you're coming here to South Africa, I'm going to teach you a little bit of Afrikaans. So English is predominantly one of our uh, first languages, but then we also have Afrikaans and we have 11 official languages. I can't speak many of those, but I can speak Afrikaans. So I'm going to have you do your intro here on Jacaranda FM. Uh, you're okay. going to say, Mein Naam is Omi. Mein Naam is Omi. In ik is by a leaf. And ik is by a leaf. For South Africa and Jacaranda FM. For South Africa and Jacaranda FM. Well done. You, you've done much better than most people. You don't even know what I made you say, but you continued saying it, which I, of course, shows you've got trust I, in me. Lead me into the abyss. <laughs> so basically, you just said, my name is Omi and I'm, I love South Africa and Jacaranda mm -hmm. FM. It's easy. Yeah. Look at you. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Now you've impressed me. I think we can just end the interview right now. I think I should just, I should just leave it. Um, wow. But like you said, you're in Jamaica. You're obviously born and raised there. Um, I visited yes. Jamaica back in 2017. I stayed in Montego Bay. And I must say, like, the place is all about friendly people. You know, I, I met the most amazing people when I was there. It's and a just vibe a, here, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, and just a great vibe all the time. Um, do you think that where you were raised has a big influence on how uh, you write your music and what your music is all about? Definitely. Um, because as a writer... Um, writing is um first of all it's having imagination mm -hmm. um you know to be able to capture whatever influence you in um and and reproduce it in the form of song so i think it has a huge impact on on, on how you compose you know how you're cultured and, you know, just with being in those spaces, what, what, what were the kind of uh, artists you grew up listening to, the kind of music you listened to? Are there favorites? Can you name drop some people that you've possibly even met? Well, definitely. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with um, Shaggy. Um, first Ooh. of all, <laughs> yeah, I've had the pleasure of working with Shaggy. Um, I grew up on Shaggy music, grew up on Sean Paul, mm -hmm. um, Bob Marley. You know, yeah. I'm a big fan of R&B also. So, you know, I, I have the James Brown, the Nat King Cole, the Sam oh, Cooke. Ah. You know I mean? So I, I grew up on a, a wide range of music and also um, hip hop. So I'm a big fan of hip hop as well. Okay. Can you rap? Is there something we can look forward to in the future? Maybe busting out a little bit of a rhyme over there? No? Well, well, of course, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an artist. So yeah. I, I don't, you see, just as now, um, you know, actors, they switch, they switch up their roles every now and then. Yeah. I, I gotta switch up my role every now and then, man. 
Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold you to that. I'll be tweeting you and bugging you on social media. Like, where where's the rap verse? Where's the rap verse? <laughs> <laughs> but now we know we're struggling here. With worldwide pandemic, uh, lockdown, self isolation, mm-hmm. um, and I know here in South Africa, uh, a lot of the chats on social media have been about people feeling uh, the ups and downs. We call it the Corona coaster because on days mm-hmm. you feel very, wow, very I like excited. That. Yay! Yeah, that's really creative. <laughs> So the Corona coaster keeps you, you know, feeling despondent for one week and then feeling very energized and happy uh, for the next. Mm-hmm. What has been happening with you over this period? You know, what, what's been going through your mind, the emotions, um, and ha- have you had some writing done as well with, with going through all of um, this? Um, definitely. Um, I've, I've actually had a lot of uh, writing done. I've had a lot of time to reflect on um, what's going to be you know, the next direction, but Mm -hmm. because of the unpredictability of, 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 you know, the coronavirus and, and how it affects the, the, the industry, you know, you, you got to just have those plans in the back of your mind and execute them as soon as you, um, it's, it's possible, you know, so I've been writing, I've been planning along with the, with the team, what's going to be our next move. Mm -hmm. Um, and so far just using this time to reflect, you know, and, and dabble into a little bit of my other talents. Um, I know a lot of people, um, are discovering new talents or discovering new, new things about themselves. Yes. (laughs) That was actually going to be my next question because here in South Africa, people went on a banana bread frenzy. Everyone was baking. Mm -hmm. Uh, and when the rules kind of eased out, everyone was hiking. Um, and a lot of fitness stuff, people were painting, uh, yeah. learning languages. What's the one thing that people will be surprised to know about you that you've been, I don't know, that you discovered about yourself? Like you said, special hidden talents possibly? Well, um, it's, 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 it's not really dis- like only discovered it, but I've mm-hmm. gotten better at it. Okay. So I, I do architectural design and interior decorating. Oh, Okay. Yeah, as we like literally, like literally as we speak, um, let me see if I can flip the camera. Like literally as we speak, I'm working right now. Okay. So, like, um, is that for your place or someone else's place? Are you getting paid um, for yeah, that? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually working with, um, uh, hold on. So this is a, this is like a real interview now because... <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually, um, I'm actually le- letting you in. All right, here we go. I'm just opening okay. this up. What and are looking at. Oh wow. <gasps> okay. Um, how many bedrooms are in that house? That's a four-bedroom house, but it has like a okay. home theater and a home office and like little extra rooms. Is it for you or for someone else? No, it's just random. It's just random. Oh, okay. It might be one so of you my could possibly, other properties. Or uh, you could possibly give it to me. I could do it back here. Of course. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, you see. See, I'm that person. I'm always looking for a way in and a freebie. Uh-huh. I was looking for a rap song <laughs> earlier. Now I'm looking for a, uh, plans for a mm. house. You know, you must do what you, you, you got to do when you've got people in your space. Of course, definitely. <laughs> okay, so there's architecture. Have you been working out? Have you been cooking? Um, I have been cooking. Actually, I cooked yesterday. I made, um, I made dinner yesterday. Um, actually, our popular Jamaican cuisine here, it's um, kidney beans with rice and um, chicken. Okay. Yeah, and Do I also did um, potato because salad. I'm seeing, I'm seeing no. a bit of muscle popping. Are they? No, I don't. And this, this actually needs work. Come on, don't. <laughs> Listen, flattery will no. get you everywhere. And um, wow. speaking of flattery, <laughs> we know all your successes over the past couple of years. Uh, Cheerleader was one of the biggest, biggest party tracks here in South Africa. Um, Mm -hmm. I know you've also performed on Jimmy Fallon, you know, Good Morning America. That's just to name, but a few of the amazing things you've pulled off. Um, But, you know, now we're looking at the next level, the next chapter. Um, Have you pinned that down? Do you know what it looks like? Or are you kind of just, you know, going with what the universe presents to you over the next couple of months? 
Yeah. Um, I think a little bit of both because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat of a control freak. I, 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 I like to have a say in, in, in my destiny. I like to, <laughs> yeah, I like to yeah. kind of put things <laughs> in a place. Yeah. I like to kind okay. of put things in a place, um, you know, have a plan at least. So, mm-hmm. you know, in case the universe allows it, then I'm, a, I'm able to execute, you know, but if I, if I don't have a plan and then, you know, things are, are relaxed a bit and the world is opened up once again, then there's no moving forward. There's no plan. Mm-hmm. So now earlier on, you said you really wanted to visit South Africa. I'm going to ask that you add that to the list of, you know, planning the destiny. And when you're yes. here, you have to come visit us at Jacaranda FM, promise. Most definitely. <laughs> Only if you're still there. Oh, no, I'll, I'll be there. Don't trust me, I'll be there. Um, now, just before we wrap up, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, the latest song, Bring My Baby Back. I heard it for mm-hmm. the first time and I played it for the first time on our station because I you like it. the big hits. Yes, I do. I like the vibe. And like I said, it, take, it takes me back to Montego Bay just dancing there on the beach. <laughs> Um, but I was just thinking when, when, I, when I listened to it and I read up on what you said about it, what was happening at that point in your life when you were writing the song and then also when you were recording it? Was it now during lockdown or was it slightly earlier? It was, it was slightly earlier. Um, actually, mm-hmm. I did that. Um, I was on a, a recording um, tour in London, you know, so we were working with like uh, various uh, producers and um, we, I came across um, Sky Adams. He was actually in the lineup of producers that I um, was supposed to work with. And um, he had two other guys, Reggie and Boldy, and they, those two guys actually entered um, one of the, I think Britain's Got Talent or one of those talent shows. Mm-hmm. And they did a rendition of my song, Cheerleader. So they were actually um, two of the, write, the writers on that song. So it was it was quite a uh, an honor to work with them, um, and it was a fun vibe because here you have these guys trying to write, <laughs> trying to sound like Jamaican, trying to write my dialect, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sing it the way it's supposed to be done, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> so was, you ended was, up fixing it whilst singing it, if you will. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, they they try to capture. The essence as best as they could, but yeah, you know, it was all in the and, delivery. And you mentioned TikTok. Um, I read up something where you were saying, you know, you want bring my baby back to have like uh, a TikTok dance, possibly because that's kind of like the big salute these days. When you've got like yeah. that trending dance, do you have TikTok mm-hmm. though? Yes, I believe um, we recently signed up for it, but okay. I haven't been um, doing anything on TikTok. Like okay, but. You have to. You have to maybe be no. the first one to do a dance. Can you dance? A little bit. A little bit. Like, I, I mean, you're from Jamaica. Your yeah, I won't step on your toes, but I'm, I'm, I don't know. I guess maybe I don't have as much of a passion for it as I'm supposed to. Okay. But, but you can make it work. I mean. But I can make Jamaica. it work. I yeah, can make you, it look good. You can make me look good. Okay, I see. What no, I can make it look good. Oh, okay, no, I was no, just, I you was can checking. make me look good. <laughs> like I actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, last couple of things. We're gonna play a game called this or that. So I'll give you two options. You can only choose one. Uh, kicking it off with beach or city. Mm-hmm. Uh, beach. Okay, jerk chicken or pizza. Jerk chicken. <laughs> Reggae or R and B. Hmm. I think. I think reggae. Okay. Uh, phone call or text? Uh, text. Text, yeah. You're like me. Um, and then yeah. 30 seconds or Monopoly. When I text, I, I, think, I think better. You know, I, I get to think about what I want to say before I actually send it off. <laughs> okay. Are Continue. you a serial texter or do, are you one of those people who have like thousands and thousands of messages unread on their phones? No, I, I, will, I will return your text. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then yeah. last one, 30 seconds or Monopoly? Hmm. Monopoly. Yeah. Really? So you wouldn't be on my 30 seconds team? 
But well, I choose Monopoly because I don't know what 30 seconds is. So <gasps> okay. So when me. you visit South Africa and you visit Jack Randy, so much to we'll do. play 30 seconds with you. We'll write a rap song. You'll bring me the plans to my house. We've got a lot. And I hope that you're jotting this down because it's very important. Of course. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for joining us. Um, I really do appreciate it. Jacaranda FM.